Hey everybody, today we're making an Italian classic, pasta fagioli. Some people call it pasta with the beans, some people call it pasta fagioli. Either way, it's delicious. And today I'm going to give you a quick and easy recipe so you can make it at home. First I'm going to go over all my ingredients. And remember, I will put them in the description. Okay, but you got your cooked ditalini pasta, your cannelli beans, one can of San Marzano. Now I know there's been a lot of talk about San Marzano's, really on San Marzano's. This is Cento's, certified San Marzano's. You got a little picture of Italy back there in green where they come from. Really? Who knows? All I know is the can was almost $5. I'm hoping they're the real thing. All you can do is keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I got a half a cup of finely diced onions. I got three large cloves of garlic that I ran through that garlic grating dish. I got fine chopped parsley, some fresh basil, salt and pepper, and then a little more salt and pepper, some dried basil leaves, and some garlic powder. Now, I don't have any carrots, I don't have any celery. Some people put them in theirs. My mother always said, pasta vajoli and minestrone soup, they're related, you know? They're not sister and brother, but they're first cousins. They definitely shouldn't date. And what my mother said was, when you add more beans and you start adding vegetables, she goes, you know something? She goes, a couple of vegetables and another beans, because you got minestrone soup. So there's a fine line between pasta vasoli and minestrone soup. So mine has two things, beans and pasta. I'm gonna get this all ready, and we're gonna come in and start our pasta vasoli. Okay, everyone. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a half a cup of finely diced onions and we're going to take those three cloves of garlic that we ran through the garlic grating dish and we're going to olive oil that up and we're going to get this rolling and we're going to saute this, I don't know, probably about 10-12 minutes until it's really soft and then we'll be back. Here's our garlic and onions. It's been cooking, you know, 10, 12 minutes. Nice and sloppy, just the way we like it. Okay, I'm gonna season this can, just like the gravy, all right? It's gonna get, you know, about that, about that much, about that much salt. It's gonna get a few shakes of pepper. It's gonna get a few shakes of garlic powder. And it's gonna get one teaspoon of dry basil. Okay, into our whole San Marzano tomatoes. And this is going to go in. And we're going to get our masher. And we're going to mash them up good. I'm going to incorporate this well. And I'm going to get this popping. And we'll be back. guys that's been cooking I don't know about 20 25 minutes and as you can see it's still thick it's too thick to be pasta fagioli now my great-grandmother she would just throw water in here and I always kind of found that made it a little too watery what I like to do is I like to use 50% vegetable broth and 50% water so each one of these represents a cup of Vegetable broth and water, and I'll start with half, and I'll start with half, okay? And this is basically a preference. How thin do you like your pasta vajoli? Some people like it thick with almost no juice at all. Some people like it juicy like a soup. Hey, it's all in your preference. Me, I'm kind of an in-between guy. I, I, I like that with little chunks of tomatoes in there, but I certainly don't like it dry. There's nothing good about a dry pasta vajol. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little more of both. Alright, a little more of that, a little more water. And for me, that's a good consistency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this back to a boil, that cook a few more minutes, and then we'll be ready to start seasoning and add our beans. Oh, all right guys, so now this is the time when you need to taste and see if your seasoning is correct. So you need to get a spoon, or what I like to do is, is I grab the Italian spoon, you know, the heel, of the, the heel of the bread. 
right? Oh, that's good. Wow, that's good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper, and I'm gonna put my, my beans in. Now, these Cannonelli beans, they're cooked. They're in a can. I rinsed them, I rinsed them again, I made sure they were dry. Far easier than buying raw beans and having to cook them. Okay, so these really don't have to cook. They just have to get hot. Okay, and in they go. Okay, we're gonna cook these, I don't know, five, 10 minutes until they're nice and piping hot, and we'll be back. All right, so like I said, these beans, they're cooked, okay? So we have them boiling about eight minutes. You really, you don't need to boil them to death. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this with some fresh chopped parsley, some finely ribboned basil, we'll work that in, and then we're gonna put in our ditalini. Now, it's already cooked. It's cooked, cooled, a little olive oil on it so it wouldn't stick together. Now, again, this is your preference. How much macaroni you want, how much you want it to be like soup versus a stew versus almost no liquid at all. All right, so I'm gonna put in about half. This is the whole box, the whole pound. And let's see how that looks. That's, that's looking pretty good right there, isn't it? That is looking pretty good right there. Wow, tell you what, just for good measure, we'll put a little more in, okay. All right, so we're just gonna give this two minutes because the macaroni's cooked, we just need to heat it up, and we'll be ready to roll. All right, guys, that's about it right there. So, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put a very generous portion of Picorino Romano and uh, Parmesan cheese in. Yeah, you know something? Bang, in all of us. Okay. So, I'm gonna incorporate this, plate it up, and give you the final product. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is definitely something that will always remind me of my great-grandmother. Mmm. And you see, it's really not pasta pajoli isn't a soup. It's thick. It has liquid, but not a whole lot of liquid. Mmm. Once you get too much liquid, like I said, it becomes a minestrone. And we didn't make minestrone today. So I hope everyone enjoyed this. Please feel free to comment. Let me know how you made out making your pasta fagioli. Please, if you like this, hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, live, laugh, and cook Italian.